was talking to someone who said, um, I think they were talking about Lewis and particularly in the West Niles, that even quite strong Gaelic communities there, the language isn't really being passed on from parent to child in any substantial way. Certainly the Isle of Man example is there's still life after death, whatever that means, language death. I don't think languages die, but, you know, we live in a rapidly changing world, don't we? And, you know, the, the, the reality is, in some sense, the, the, linguistically, the Isle of Man is much better off now than it was 50, 100 years ago, and even 150 years ago. Um, in you've what got, way? You, you've got a, a Gale skull, you've got young people learning it, you've got much more visibility, much more confidence much more money, you know, invest in the language. So, you know, um, maybe, in, uh, you know, uh, and we don't have to invest loads of money in trying to support um, linguistic communities which are disappearing, really. I suppose, to, I don't know, in the Irish Gaelic Act, a lot of it's economics, ultimately, isn't it? You know, if there's, you know, um, and you know, maybe in the modern world it's... Um, you know, uh, in some sense, like in Scotland, the example of Scotland, I've seen the future of Gaelic in Scotland and in places like Inverness and Glasgow, not in the Western Isles, really. Um, you know, do people want to live that farming, trusting, sort of relatively isolated sort of existence anymore, really? And the reality is probably they don't.